Roswell Flight Test Crew here at NAB 2015 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Be sure to subscribe so you can follow along with us here at the show. And I'm talking to Mark Padilla, whom we met last year. How are you doing, Mark? I'm doing well. Thank you very much, Patrick. How about yourself? I'm doing really good, really good. Excited to be back here and really excited to see your new product. This is the Tornado H920. Tell me about this thing. The unique Tornado H920 copter is actually an excellent copter and it's capable of flying for 42 minutes with three batteries on board with our V18 18 times optical zoom autofocus Sony camera. It's easy to fly, easy to break down. As you can see here, it'll break down in actually less than a, a few minutes very fast, very fast setup, and it's a very small footprint, and it's actually below the five kilogram limit, like in Europe. It's actually only 4,700 grams all up weight ready to fly, and that's why I could fly for 42 minutes. And uh, great things about this is that we actually made sure that if you ever have any mishaps or anything, the outer booms would break first instead of breaking the fuselage. You've got, you've got your, obviously you've got your own custom flight control system in here. You're not using somebody else's. But then on top of that, you've got it set up so this thing anticipates faults. Let's say one motor goes out, uh, you know, God forbid something hits the rotor and then breaks the propeller. It's smart enough to detect that motor is out and then, uh, you know, the other motors are, are capable of actually interacting and keeping it in balance. So it doesn't matter, you know, like most copters, you have to have a perfect center of gravity, right? Well, this already has that perfect center of gravity, but the other motor would actually react differently, forward and reverse, you know, to keep it balanced and to give you the positive yaw. Because usually when you lose one motor, your copter would usually flip around or spin out, or you lose yaw authority because, you know, you have more torque going one way than the other. Our software can take care of that and, and still allow you to fly as if you did not lose any motor. And the system actually alerts you if anything goes wrong. Well, I've actually, you know, never seen anything go wrong yet. We've done it in testing. We've, we've intentionally shut down, you know, motors or unplugged motors or speed controllers in flight and, and tested it. And it does work really well. You can actually check that on YouTube. We have, we have several test videos on YouTube showing it in action. What really separates this apart from, you know, most copters out there already is that we, we have a version that includes an, an, an 18 times optical zoom. System. Yeah, no, that's really impressive. As, now, what uh, what is does it capture the video on board? Is this something you could use for like aerial cinematography, or is this really first and foremost aimed at that security inspection kind of you know industrial user? This this is actually aimed for you know the person that needs the 18 times zoom capability. It is it is actually a 1080p 60 frame per second camera. It's a Sony camera inside there, so. You know, whatever you feel you can use that autofocus 18 times optical zoom camera that's super stable that can fly for 42 minutes, then uh, you know that's it's a perfect machine for that. So it's it's multiple varial, verticals, you know, inspections, tower inspections. We've had people wanting to use it for fire, you know, and, and just making sure that they have the situational awareness prior to sending out their crews. And then you've got here a descendant of the extremely cool radio we saw here last time. You want to walk us through how this works with this machine here? The Tornado H920 will be available in four different trims. The one with the V18 18x optical zoom camera with one personal ground station. And then there's a version that comes with two ground stations for your uh, you know, payload operator or your camera operator, you know, the second man, your, your team, team mode basically. And then we also have a, a Tornado H920 that's capable of carrying a, a Panasonic GH4 and you know, to stabilize that. And also we're coming out with a mount for it to, to support Blackmagic cameras as well. So, so, so you mentioned the Panasonic and then Blackmagic cameras. So you could use the same airframe with one of those. That'd be an awesome cinema rig. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, if you purchase, let's say you purchase the V18 for your specific inspection needs, but then you also have another vertical where you like to do video, you know, aerial photography, videography then you can just go ahead and purchase the GB603 gimbal that's specifically made for the Panasonic GH4. And also we have an adapter plate coming for it for the Blackmagic camera. So it's the same aircraft does both. You don't need to have two aircraft. Exactly, yes, yes. You know, we always suggest you have, you know, backup, especially if you're using it for professional use, but you know. So. Well, why don't you show us this, um, this radio is just extraordinary. Why don't you walk us through what all these knobs and switches do? Everything's assignable here. This is a 24 channel smart you know, a personal ground station. So, you know, you can actually go in there and do your own mixes if you'd like. And the cool thing about this is that we, we actually control optical zoom with the proportional control sliders right here. And uh, and you can set it up to where you can control the camera and, and do the pitch with this. As you can see there, it's actually changing the pitch angle. And then you can actually, uh, you know, yaw 
and pan with, uh, with the right control stick, but that's all assignable. And there will be different model memories to control your, your different gimbals. So that's going to be available too as well. So it's going to be out of, a complete out of the box experience. So basically the great thing about unique products is that you buy it, you charge it and you fly, you know, it's, it's ready, easy and safe. You know what I mean? So that's why you should <laughs> go with the Tornado H920 or Q500 Plus. So uh, let me ask you, um, what is this going to sell for and when is it going to be available on the market? Alrighty, right now uh, we're actually talking about $8,000 for a complete ready-to-fly system with three batteries and the V18 18X optical zoom with autofocus. And that's for one with one personal ground station. The other trim is $9,000. This transmitter is actually usually $1,500, but if you purchase it with team mode, two transmitters, two personal ground stations, it's $9,000. For both of them, plus the aircraft. Yes, exactly. In our GH4 model, uh, the single operator mode is only $4,700. And uh, <laughs> that one can fly for about 25 minutes uh, with two batteries. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, the, the two-man operator mode is going to be $5,700. So, you know, it's turnkey, ready to fly with charger, battery, everything. And even the case. And like I said, I, I just can't get over the fact that we can finally break down and literally, I mean... Let's see. Like, okay, so I just I just folded I just folded four arms right now. In how many seconds? I mean, that's zero stress putting it away. You know, so it, it can definitely be used for many many different applications, especially now that you know the FAA is looking at it and people can apply for 333 exemptions. You know, it's it's going to be the perfect machine. I assume this has also got autonomous flight modes. Right now, we actually have a return to home feature. The return to home feature still allows you to have full control of the aircraft as far as the pan goes you know, the yaw and everything. And as, and, and as it descends, as soon as it gets to your location, because we have a dynamic or active home type mode where this actually transmits its location, you know, to the copter so it knows your location all the time. So if you happen to move, it'll follow that home point. And as soon as it gets to that home point, it'll actually drop the landing gear by itself, you know? So, and then begin its land. And as soon as it, it touches the ground, it'll shut off the motors and you can, you know, easily pack it away and, and, and move on and go to your next job. I love the active home feature. That's something I haven't heard about. Like we were talking about if you're shooting from a boat, hey, that's great, but the boat moves and then your helicopter returns to the middle of the lake where the boat used to be. Yep, yep, definitely. And, you know, other features too that are, that are already on our Q500 Plus, the Typhoon Q500 Plus, like the smart follow me and camera tracking features that will all be built into this i mean it's you know the transmitter has its gps this has gps so that's all going to be integrated you know and then when's this going to be available for sure late may on on the gh4 model and this one uh, you know we'll definitely follow up with you on, on on the availability of the v18 the 18x zoom but it is all working very very well now i was saying well mark thank you so much for your time today this is so cool Thank you. It was my pleasure. And yeah, definitely appreciate you swinging by with the whole group. I missed you guys. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. All right. And from NAB 2015, it's Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. So I snuck around behind the booth and I saw something. I didn't know I was supposed to see this, but look at that. It. I, you know, I saw it, I'm like, what is this? I asked around, one guy finally said, you know what, that thing will fly that gimbal for an hour. But that is so cool. And they say it's quiet too, it's very, very neat. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't get to it, so I can't look at it close, but that is very cool.